Hey y'all, it's Andrea here. We are heading out. It's kind of a rainy day here, but we are heading out into the high tunnel. And over here on this other side, I'm doing something new this year. I've actually never done this before, but my growing space is limited this year. I have this high tunnel, which I'm quickly filling up. I have lots of flowers. I have veggies in here. All kinds of stuff both of our kids are getting married this year and i'm trying to grow some flowers for that so there's all kinds of flower production going on on this farm but i also want to grow vegetables i want to grow things to eat fresh to put up for the off season all the things and you can see this area over here it's grown up right now that is part of my garden that i'm not gardening this year you might be like well you get a lot more production if you were gardening that too. And while you are correct, that is because there is exciting things going on over here. Um, I had this load of super soil brought in, so that is helping tremendously. We're getting to use that and, and top off our raised beds and do all kinds of things with that. We're gonna be spreading some and amending the soil. But right where I'm standing, there is gonna be a brand new high tunnel going uh, later this summer. So I can't get a lot of things going in this area and then have it too crowded for them to come build the new high tunnel. I've mentioned this before, we got this high tunnel. It came from Grower Solution, but we were able to get it through a program. Um, it's, I think it is called the High Tunnel Initiative. So I don't know exactly what the program is called. I believe it's called something like the High Tunnel Initiative or something like that. You could just call and find out what it's called. It may be called something different in your state or in your area. Um, you will need to contact your NRCS, Natural Resources Conservation Service. Um, people are always like, what letters are you saying? And I know I have a country accent, but it is NRCS. RCS, your NRCS office, and they can direct you. Um, you can be applying right now for next year. I don't know. It's I'm sure it's closed in your area for this year, but I don't know that 100%. But there is something going on that they're approving way more of these than they ever have. And a lot of them they're approving like on the spot. So it's not like you have to wait till the next year to find out if you're approved. It is the perfect time for you to be checking into that. I'm getting nothing for telling you that it is not like I am advertising these or something. I'm just trying to help you guys out that if you ever thought you wanted a high tunnel, you do not have to get a big monster like this. This is like, I don't know, I think it's 24 by 96. People get small ones. Um, it's just whatever you apply for. Um, and, and it goes, I believe, off square feet. So anyway you do not have to get a huge one like that you can start small but it is a perfect way to get yourself a greenhouse a high tunnel whatever if you don't have a ton of cash to just drop on it now there is just like anything there is stipulations you know they're about conserving resources that's their name so like they're going to be interested in um like water catchment and things like that that will vary depending on where you are and depending on your agent even county to county here in arkansas it varies a little so just being frank with you guys you may have an agent that is super easy to work with and then again you may not so all that is going to be dependent on where you live but it's definitely worth checking into all that to say there is a new high tunnel going right here in this area so i am not only down my front garden which is now a parking lot for the market I'm down half of my back garden this year, so I'm very limited on space. I'm going to be using a lot of techniques like I have a lot of lettuces and broccolis and cabbages growing right now. In fact, let's go look at them. So I have a lot of early things growing in here. That means I'm going to be taking those out as soon as their season is over. Like I have some bok choy down here that's already starting to go to seed. I will be harvesting those and using off them and then I will be taking the rest out of here. Um, I'm going to have to, not necessarily what they call succession plant, but I'm going to have to take things out that are not producing or not producing well anymore and go ahead and put something else in. I have to utilize my space is what I'm saying. One way I'm doing that, and I want to show you guys this because I've never done this before, but it is working so 
beautifully. And that is, I'm growing potatoes in buckets this year. These are tubs that we got like protein in in the winter over the last few years. Um, some of them are busted. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but some of them are completely busted down the side. That's actually perfect because that helps them to drain better. A couple of them that weren't busted enough, I wound up putting holes in the bottom so they would drain. And I literally just put a little layer of this super soil in there. You could use whatever soil you want. I cut my potatoes and put them in there, covered them. They're not, but maybe half full. A couple of these buckets are, are behind. You can see that or something didn't come up at all maybe, but the rest of them are doing fantastic. So what we're gonna do today is go in. I'm gonna finish filling these buckets up because you want to keep enough dirt. It's called hilling. When you go in and put more dirt on your potatoes, you keep hilling dirt up around them. In this case, I'm gonna put it in the buckets and then that encourages the plant to shoot off um, more roots off of it into that soil, that new soil that you're giving it. As long as you don't bury it completely, it'll be fine. You want to leave, you know, the top leaves at least sticking out. Um, that's going to encourage it to make more roots, which in turn are going to give you more and bigger potatoes. So we're going to get that done. All right, I got the dirt put in the potatoes. One thing I wanted to mention about that that Ben mentioned to me and I thought was a great idea that when you go to dig the potatoes, cause that can turn into a pretty big job, especially when you're working by yourself, which I'm probably gonna be for the most part this summer and that's okay. But I have to think about when I start a project, if I'm gonna be able to complete it. And digging potatoes I've done by myself many times before but with two kids getting married all the other things i'm doing starting a market all the things he mentioned this and i was like that is pretty genius he said you know if you grow in tubs or buckets it comes time to harvest them all you really have to do is dump the bucket out and i was like oh that is so smart so i'm going to keep y'all posted on how that goes i think that is going to be super easy just kind of dump it over and sift through there and it's really good soil so we're gonna see how this little experiment goes while i was at it i'm gonna show y'all something i know i'm opening myself up for some criticism here but hey i'm just being authentic and open here i'm trying to use every space i have this year because like i showed you my space is limited so i have amended a lot of beds today i'm gonna take you around and show you um, in fact this is at the back of my house i've grown strawberries in that little bed um, before many times it had a ground cover we ripped it out uh, we've amended that looks so much better i'm gonna grow stuff in there i'm actually thinking about growing some vining stuff in there like maybe some watermelons i don't know something like that something that runs and takes up a lot of space um because that's sort of contained i think think that would work well but i have had these are tractor tires i've had these four years before i knew like hey probably not the best idea to use a tire I had these, I had them full of herbs for years. They still have a few herbs in them, but I have went ahead and amended those. I already have them. I can put something in them. Even if I don't want to put things in there that I'm going to grow like vegetable wise, I can grow flowers. I can grow, um, you know, just stuff like that, that I'm not necessarily going to eat, but I want a place for it. because I'm growing a lot of flowers this year because of the weddings and just because I want to, it's something that is fun to me and it's kind of my new thing. So it's, I, it's really exciting to see a flower come up. I have not had success with flowers in the past. So trying to learn and do things right and then see it come to fruition and have like flowers in a vase that I grew, it's pretty rewarding. So out here in front, I have had these beds for a while those are actually that one 
And that one are the first two raised beds we ever built. Built them out of cedar scraps and they didn't last. They rotted down and then Lane, when he was still living here, went in one day and put this lumber on the outside of it. Holding up okay. I have got these flowers. Some people call them peonies. Some people call them peonies. Um, you may call them something different. I've called them, heard them called both. I've already had one bloom. This one's about to open up. Got several more of those. First time to grow those. Pretty excited about those. Amended this bed. And then um, this was my first bed I bought that was a metal bed. It's held up fantastic. Still looks great. Um, another one of these wooden beds. And then again, using what I have. I have these water troughs. If you own livestock, you have probably owned those water troughs at some point. They rust out in the bottom. When they rust out, it makes a perfect flower bed. Again, maybe you don't want to grow vegetables in it, but it's a good place to throw some zinnia seeds or something like that. And then my new beds. Look at these onions. They are, they're doing really well. This is very rich soil. I have learned that over the last month or so. Um, super, super good quality. Um, probably still a little hot, but these onions, I don't think I've lost a single onion. They have loved it. Uh, onions can be heavy feeders. And so they're not mining this soil at all. Look at this growth. I, I've honestly never had this success with onions before. I have a few things in this U-shaped bed. Eh, they're doing okay. The carrots seem to be doing pretty good. Like I said, the soil's a little hot. So um, even if I sacrifice all this that I've planted in it, that'll help it, you know, go ahead and cool down, chill out a bit. Maybe it'll be good from then on. I've planted some in this bed. This is a rectangle bed, I, just like I've got the onions in. Got a few things in there, they're doing okay. And then I've got an empty one down here that I'm, I've still got to plant yet. Had a lot of construction going on right there. This is the back of the market. So just kind of been on hold here with this area. I've got, this is a disaster. Cannot believe I'm about to show you this. Got like pots over here that I need to get planted. I just got a lot I need to do gardening wise. Rose bushes are blooming. These things are about to be gorgeous. I've got the peach ones. They don't seem to be blooming yet. Surprised about that, but the pink ones sure are. Let me take you in here and show you all my plant starts. They're, eh, they're doing pretty good, like my tomatoes. I think I was overwatering them. And so letting them dry out just a tad today because it's not, the sun's not beating down today. Uh, but they're getting on up there. You can see I've got a few, a lot bigger than others. I'm about to have a lot of tomatoes, but they have strong little stalks. That's one thing you want. And then I was definitely overwatering like my squash and all that because it got super hot here super fast. And um, I didn't want things drying out. So consequently, I went the other direction. So they're kind of recovering from that. I have tomatoes and peppers out the wazoo. So I'm about to be planting a lot of those and probably sharing, selling, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I got a lot of gardening ahead. Um, it's just gonna be a busy summer. And the green stalks, these things literally froze solid. We had like a deep, deep freeze. And these things were frozen solid. I do not know how some of them survived. Every one of these towers I had planted and I have flowers in every one of them. Not every hole, but in every green stalk. Um, and I'm gonna put a link to Green Stock Glow. I don't know if you have seen, they've got the basket weave design. It is gorgeous. I hope to get one of those one day. And they've got new colors. Um, I, I love the pink one I've seen. They've got several new colors, lots of neat stuff. So check them out. I'm gonna drop a link to them below. You can always use our code VWFF and save. Um, and a lot of times they'll have sales and you can stack the code on top of the sale. So check them out. I'm gonna hop off here. This is a different color rose. Oh, it's about to be gorgeous. I love gardening season. I am so dirty. About chopped the end of my finger off the other day, but it's healing, trying to keep it kind of clean. This hand's dirtier than the other one because I'm doing things one-handed right now, but oh well, that's how it goes. Life happens. And I was literally only chopping a salad, but no worries, I threw the salad out. All right, I'm gonna hop off here. Oh, I'm tired. 
that was a hard day's work did not even accomplish all i wanted to but hey sometimes you got to know when to call it quits and it's that time i hope y'all are doing great um drop down below what you're planting we're planting everything here we've always said we're zone 7b uh i don't know they've changed it all up i think we're supposed to be something else now but um i don't know old habits die hard it's gonna be hard for me to ever say we're anything other than zone 7b so drop down below what zone you're in what you're planting what's going on in your life and we will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching and god bless